This is a short video of how to pull I examination charts in iFinity EHR for chart auditing. When you log into the system, you'll be here at the home page. You can always get back to this home page by clicking the home button here. So up at the top where you see patient search, we're going to click in here. and We're going to start typing the, either the name of the patient or their date of birth. Um, so we have a patient called test test that we're going to pull up. I'm going to start typing test and their last names test and you'll see how it pulls up here, um, the criterion that's in here. So we have patient test test. We could also have put in here the date of birth, 02 24 1955. But anyways, we're going to click on here, the search criterion for test test and this brings up all the records um, for our patient test test. So on the right side down here, you'll see a list of all the examinations, um, recent examinations for the patient. Um, if they've had more, then you can click here and expand all their um, exams going back as far as you want to go back. But anyways, we're going to go to the most recent exam here, and we're going to click on the hyperlink. So they had an exam on August 9th, 2019. And this will open up the examination note or record. And this is the entire um, chart or record here. So you can just scroll down and read all of your information you'd like to get off the record for um, the patient. And if you notice, the patient also had a couple extra testing, automated perimetry, perimetry and optic nerve OCT. And so those are some tests that were done that had interpretation and report reports that are inside the exam record, and I can show you where to look for other um, ways to access that. So along the top here, for auditing purposes, um, these are some important buttons to know. So this is the visit note that we're in right here. If you click that, or just we're right in, the, it's the same exact thing, we're in the visit note. This is the view the encounter form. This is for uh, the great thing to click for auditing purposes. This has all the codes and the justification for the codes here. So this is the patient, uh, the diagnosis codes, and this is the procedure code. And importantly for auditing, this is the code that was used for the examination, and this is the justification in the software why this code was uh, appropriate to use. And this is all the justifications um, here. So that was in the encounter form. If you need to use or see um, the HICVA 1500, you can click this. Um, if you want to see that in the HICVA 1500 format. And this button here um, for the, to view the image interpretation, this is where if you have any extra testings that were done and you want to see just those testings, the interpretation and report um, for those testing um, procedures that were built, this is where you can see the interpretation and report. As I showed you in the notes, the automated perimetry, here's the interpretation report, and that OCT of the optic nerve head. Here's the interpretation and report. But these interpretations and reports are also in the visit note. And that brings us back to the note. With the visit note, you can click here. You can print this um, out on your system if you would like when you're logged in. And you can also um, download this to your system. The notes are in PDF format, so you can save it to your system or you can open it with Adobe Acrobat or whatever uh, PDF um, software that you want to see it in. So this software, we're going to go back to, um, if you want to go back to the test test patient and you want to see any more visits, we're going to click on the hyperlink of the patient's name. And this brings us back to all the visits um, here again. And so we can click on this one, and it's the exact same thing. The visit notes here. If you want to see the encounter form for this um, visit, the justifications for the, the, diagnosis, uh, the procedure codes, here's the diagnosis codes, and the justification for the 92014 uh, code that was billed, and the image interpretation report. And it looks like... Um, there's photos done on this one, so here's an interpretation report for that. And to get back to the patient, again, we can click on the hyperlink key either here for the patient or here for the patient, their name, and it gets us back to the overview of the patient. 
If you need to see any extra demographics of the patient, you can click this little down arrow and you can see here their uh, demographics. We can close this if we want. Uh, this software, viewing it works best and is approved to view um, things on either Firefox or Chrome. So that is the um, way to access records up here uh, in iFinity EHR.